was missing in Texas. Uh, however, she was found under an abandoned house, sexually assaulted. Okay, this was in Cook County, Texas. Authorities said a missing five-year-old girl was found Tuesday, February 6th, under an abandoned house, and Cook County Sheriff's deputies arrested another juvenile in connection with her disappearance hours earlier. Authorities said she had been sexually assaulted by a 14-year-old teen boy. She was treated at the scene, the 100 block of Chisholm Trail in, P in Pioneer Valley was treated at the scene before taken to Cooks County Hospital in Fort Worth. Child Protective Services is taking care of her now. Another juvenile from the girl's home was taken to the Juvenile Detention Center in Denison. <clears throat> it's sickening, very sickening. Makes me not want to think about it, said Jackie Brown, who lives just a few houses down from where the victim lived. It's unbelievable. We've been here for 18 years. <clears throat> Nothing like this has ever happened around here, and it just shocks us. While walking her dogs, Brown would often see the five-year-old victim playing outside. She would come up and play with the dogs, and the dogs would play with her. She gets along real good with the animals. Investigators with the Cook County Sheriff's Office Criminal Invest Investigation Division, Texas Rangers, the Texas Department of Public Safety, Officers from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and Child Protective Services helped find the missing child. Investigators determined the girl was taken from her home during the night, was sexually assaulted in an abandoned home, and left underneath another abandoned home until she was found. Other children found in the girl's home were removed by CPS and placed in foster care. And so I would say... <clears throat> and this one's a terrible discovery under an abandoned house after an all-out search for a missing North Texas girl. It turns out this little girl had been sexually assaulted in Valley View, which is just north of Den and Cook, Cook Children's Hospital, where that little girl has been taken. Jeff, what can you tell us? But yeah, Doug, we just checked in with Child Protective Services, which tells us that five-year-old victim is recovering here at Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth and will remain here at the hospital throughout the night. Investigators say they only found this little girl after hearing her whimpering from a nearby house. Dur Roads wind through this Valley View neighborhood where investigators say a five-year-old girl vanished on Tuesday only to be discovered later that day underneath a mobile home. She had been sexually assaulted and left. It's sickening. It's very sickening. Becky Brown lives just a few houses down from where the victim lived. The Cook County Sheriff's Office says a 14-year-old who lived at the same home but is not related to the victim is responsible for the attack. It's <laughs> unbelievable. We've been here 18 years. Nothing like this has ever happened around here. And it just shocks us. While walking her dogs, Brown would often yeah. see the five-year-old victim playing outside. And she would come up and play with the dogs, and the dogs would play with her. And he just really, she gets along real good with the animals. Child Protective Services says the victim, her eight-year-old brother, and three other children living at the house have now been removed from the home. The 14-year-old juvenile suspect will face a judge tomorrow. I hope they prosecute him. To the fullest. I don't care if he's a kid or not. Because I don't think anybody should do that to a child. Now, the sheriff's office says since the suspect is 14 and considered a juvenile, his court appearance will mm -hmm. not be public. CPS, though, says they have filed a removal affidavit, and that document might shed some more light on what exactly happened. Reporting this is absolutely terrible. Um... Like that lady said, it's just sickening. I mean, damn. And, you know, and it makes me wonder who, I mean, they won't give the information out because the 14-year-old um, that did this to this little girl, you know, he's a juvenile, so his uh, information is confidential. But, uh, 
It just makes me wonder who is he, you know, if he's not related to them, why was he in the house, you know? I mean, he could have been, you know, a friend or something like that, but they say he was living there, so maybe they had, you know, I don't know, they must have had someone living, you know, someone's friend living there. Uh, it's so sad, you know, and that poor little girl, I... Poor baby. The fear she must have felt and pain and, you know, just not knowing what was going to happen. Um, my heart goes out to her and I pray that that little girl has a full recovery from what she's been through. You know, that's it's a lot. Um, you know, and I don't know what the deal is with the parents or whatever like that, but, you know, I mean, my, my prayers do go out for them also. I mean, I don't know what the situation was, but, um, you know, my prayers do go out to them because they've now lost all of their kids, <clears throat> you know, at least for right now, uh, they're in child protective services. So it makes me wonder who this 14 year old is. I don't know. Um, but leave your comments and feedback below. If there's an update on this, I will, I will do an update. Um, you know, whenever that comes out, if it does. So leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all want to send me anything in my, uh, you can do so in my email, or you can also go to my Facebook and follow me if you'd like. Um, you can send me things through my messenger. Um, also. Thank you and have a great day. The links will be down below. And until the next time, I will talk to you guys later.